But what I thought about was, wouldn't it be cool if I could take this concept of the avatar and apply it to uh, my classroom? Welcome to the Hack Learning Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Barnes, providing right now solutions to some of your biggest teaching and learning problems. Now, let's hack learning. You heard from Jim Sturdivant, longtime educator and author of You've Got to Connect and the forthcoming Hacking Engagement, 50 Tips and Tools to Engage All Learners. Jim Sturdivant has been a classroom teacher for about 30 years now. Jim and I go back quite a ways, and I consider him the guru of student engagement, something I am a very big believer in. Today on the Hack Learning Podcast, we are talking about the avatar which, believe it or not, has something to do with student engagement. But what does it mean? You know, Jim and I talk about blogging, writing, and podcasting. We love podcasting. And recently we were having a discussion about John Lee Dumas. Dumas is an amazing podcaster who runs the EO Fire podcast, uh, always one of the most popular on iTunes, uh, mostly about business and entrepreneurship. But John Lee Dumas talks a lot about things that we can apply to other areas of life outside of business. In a recent interview with uh, Rich Brooks of MarketingAgents.com, Dumas was talking about avatars. And here's what he says. Your avatar is your targeted demographic that allows you to focus exactly on the people that benefit most from your message. Once you know... Who that person is, it allows your business to find its direction and become a magnet that people are drawn to. So Jim and I were talking about this and said, what if kids were avatars? What if adults, teachers, parents uh, treated kids like this avatar that John Lee Dumas talks about? And then they could become a magnet that we were drawn to. Wouldn't that help with connection and engagement? Let's see what Jim Sturdivant, author of You've Got to Connect and Hacking Engagement, says about engagement and the avatar. So I've been wrestling with the idea of engaging students now for 31 years. And uh, believe me, it's job number one whenever I create any type of lesson plan is how can I engage kids. But it's funny how sometimes these incredible ideas come out of nowhere. So I'm listening to this podcast on how to create a podcast uh, by John Lee Dumas. And all of a sudden I thought, I know what I'm doing tomorrow in class. I'm finding out about my student avatar. So Jim says, we need to find out about my student avatar because – it's, a, it's something that can help teachers, adults, parents engage with their students. And kids live in a digital world. Now, if you ask students about avatars, they'd probably think of games or the movie Avatar. Um, but they, they're thinking digitally. And our kids, when we're talking about engagement, really like the digital world. And they'll communicate. Even kids who are reluctant learners or who are shy, they'll communicate in that digital world. So... Uh, I asked Jim, well, what did you do to engage with your students about the avatar, to find out their avatar in, in a digital way? And let's listen to what he said. One thing that's interesting is I think that there's very little that students haven't been exposed to by the time they're high school students. And I think that most of them have had uh, teachers hand out a survey. Hey, what do you like to do with your spare time? Tell me a little bit about yourself. I, you know, I, I don't think that there's anything tremendously unique about that. But I wanted to take it a, a step further, and I wanted to make it more engaging and more interesting. So what I did was I created a survey uh, monkey uh, survey, and I and I entitled it Student Engagement Avatar, and I asked them some some basic questions with drop down menus. Uh, Do you have a job? Do you play a sport? Do you live with both parents? How many people live in your house? Just some basic demographic questions. But then some motivation questions, like uh, how do you like to learn? Uh, Which method of lecture do you prefer? Uh, What type of assessment do you prefer? What are your favorite things to do in your free time? Now, I like to think that I, I know my students pretty well, but I think like most teachers, 
we know the kids that interact with us. But there's a lot of kids that, that don't come up and, and share their feelings with us on a regular basis. And I found that by doing a survey monkey, you can get lots and lots of, of very honest responses because it's totally anonymous. Uh, once I've completed, uh, once I've gotten the, the results, which are displayed in a very colorful fashion on SurveyMonkey with pie charts and graphs and percentages, uh, I can present kids with those results and then ask them to respond. So, Jim Sturdivant uses digital tools to engage his kids so that they can sort of talk about their avatar. Really what they're doing is they're talking about themselves. He's asking them some questions and getting them to respond to things that aren't so much about academics, things that are personal, and also a little bit about how they learn. This is a really cool metacognitive process. When we ask kids about their learning, what kind of lecture do you like? Uh, How do you do on tests? Do you have test anxiety? What would you prefer to do to demonstrate learning about this or about that? That's a process that really tells us a lot about kids. And this, again, is that idea, that concept that John Lee Dumas talks about of the avatar. And, and that is, what is our audience all about? What do we need to focus on? Who are these people? Jim Sturdivant, who's awesome at engagement, says, well, I could just ask the kids about it. I could give them a, a, you know, a, a handout with the written questions on it. That's old school. He says, if I want to engage with them, and if we're talking about avatars, a very digital thing, then why not use a digital tool like SurveyMonkey, which is super easy to use. And you can see examples of uh, Sturdivant's SurveyMonkey on the show notes at hacklearningpodcast.com. And also a link to the John Lee Dumas interview with Rich Brooks. So Jim Sturdivant uses the Survey Monkey. He puts together questions about the kids, and that helps him to really learn who his audience is, his avatar. His avatar is this key kid, this one kid. But really, it isn't one kid, it's all kids. But he's getting a pulse for his audience. You know, maybe a good portion of the kids respond and. You know, they say, well, I really like to use this or that uh, technology or this or that social media to learn. So now Sturdivant, the teacher, can figure out how he has to engage with his audience. And, and this is really what John Lee Dumas is talking about with business, that if we know who our target market is, then we know what message to send or how to hone our message to the needs of that audience. But how do we take this further with kids? How do we get kids to continue that metacognition that Sturdivant talked about, that idea of of getting them to sort of explore themselves? And how do we expand on that? Let's see what Jim says. The thing about avatars is is kids are really intrigued by avatars. This this really cool concept. Uh, I teach this class. Uh, it's World Civilization. We talk at length about Indian gods and goddesses, which are often referred to as avatars. They're a representation of a bigger concept. If you get kids thinking along the lines of avatars and the power of avatars and the representative nature of avatars, uh, you can use this concept not just in this little <laughs> little activity where you're trying to figure out what their buttons are but you can use this this concept in other venues and get kids to start thinking about avatars outside of the classroom and the incredible power they have the incredible power of avatars that representative nature about who someone is and Jim Sturdivant says we can get kids thinking about this concept, thinking about the avatar beyond just something that might represent them on a game and get them to connect in a different way with that notion of avatar and connect in a way that they think, who am I? And if I am an avatar, it's not just a representation in digital form, but it's a whole person. That is what Jim Sturdivant says, that we want to use the avatar not only So the adults can get a feeling for their avatar, the kids, and who they are and how to hone their message. But then we can get kids thinking, if I'm an avatar, what am I? Who am I? What am I all about? And how do I use this to share my own message with the rest of the world? This episode of the Hack Learning Podcast is brought to you by Audible. 
And you can check out Audible for free because you are listening to the Hack Learning Podcast. Go to audibletrial.com slash hacklearning and you can get Audible free today. And best of all, you can search over 180,000 audiobook titles, fiction, nonfiction, memoir, everything and anything. In fact, you could find hack learning books. You could find hacking assessment, hacking education there, along with, again, 180,000 other titles. So check out audibletrial.com slash hack learning or go to hacklearningresources.com. The conversation continues at hashtag Hack Learning on Twitter. Check out amazing Hack Learning series books and other resources at hacklearning.org. The Hack Learning Podcast is a proud member of the Education Podcast Network. For more information, visit hacklearningpodcast.com. I'm Mark Barnes, and this is the Hack Learning Podcast. See you next time.